Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Any other requests from anyone? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Name something, Sandy. <clears throat> well, wait. people often do like <clears throat> Amazing Grace, and some people say, no, wait, that's a funeral song. This is a happy occasion. How about it's not, that? It's not a funeral song. Oh, you it's like not. it? Yeah, yep. it's, it's not a funeral song. It originally was a song of celebration, of finding your way to something really good. Mm. So, if you can take it in that light, you can try that. There you go. I won't do all four verses. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you a little bit of history, because most people don't know this. <clears throat> um, a sea captain, an English or Scottish, we're not sure, a sea captain, um, was a slave trader. And in the middle of the night, one night, on a voyage, he heard this song in his head. And he got up in the morning and wrote it down and um, got out of slave trade. And uh, lived well, prospered, died in England on land. He wasn't, you know, killed at sea, shipwrecked or whatever. And um, <clears throat> because of that connection, I think it got to be very popular in the American South, particularly with black gospel choirs. It's not part of the shape note, harp, sacred harp tradition, but it's, it's close to that tradition, very old. And people have come to think of it as funeral stuff because somebody put it on the bagpipes somewhere in the 1950s or 60s, and then they started playing it for mm. funerals, but that's not my opinion of it. So here we go. Yeah, okay. I, I might have to do a little bit first of a Chinese piece called Tu Ning. <laughs> that will be welcome.